What's going on, everybody? It's Patriot Independence back again with another breaking news report. But first, before I get into the news, I want to go on the record and correct a statement I made in the last video. I said that a U.S. drone was shot down by Russia, but now, since the video was uploaded, I've received info that the U.S. government is now reporting that no drones were shot down. So, I wanted to start off by correcting that info from my last video. But we do know that Russia set up a no-fly zone, so it's really going to be interesting to see if this is like a Russian bluff. Are they going to, if somebody breaks the no-fly zone, are they going to really shoot them down? That's, that's what I want to know. So, it's currently being reported that the Biden administration is considering lifting a ban that restricts U.S. military contractors from operating in Ukraine. There, as of right now, there are minimum details on this. But this could be the United States way of, quote, keeping their hands clean. And once I find more information out on this, I will definitely let you guys know. So make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date. The Yemeni Armed Forces just announced that they hit the Israeli Liberian flagged MSC Sarah V cargo ship in the Arabian Sea, uh, about roughly 240 nautical miles off the coast of Yemen, with a new ballistic missile that recently entered service after a successful test operation. And Israel has begun preparations to set up large emergency warehouses to supply food in wartime. Talks are also underway with Starlink, to provide internet in the event that Hezbollah destroys the entire electric grid from this is that was from the Jerusalem Post. And you know I hate to say this, but the Starlink isn't going to be as reliable as they think it's going to be. But the fact of the matter is that these talks should further tell everyone that a major war is coming. Also, Israeli air defenses in Elit attempted to intercept a drone launched from Iraq. And before I play these clips, there was a state, I have a statement that was made. It says, the fighters of the Islamic resistance in Iraq on Wednesday morning, June 26, 2024, targeted a vital target in Elit. The occupied lands using drones. And the way these videos looked, it looks like they may have hit the target. So let's go ahead and roll them and I'll be right back. Yo! 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 So yeah, judging by those clips, it definitely looks like it hit something. Something was hit. But the next topic here, Russia claims that they hit warehouses in the Tara Aviv hypermarket in Odessa. Now there are people online that are saying that it was not an ammo depot. But judging by this video that I have, me personally, in my opinion, I believe it was an ammo storage facility, a NATO ammo storage facility. And also, Russia's defense ministry reported that Russian troops destroyed two NATO military hardware depots in Ukraine over the past day. Is it connected? It certainly seems like it to me. but. 
I'm going to roll this clip and I'll let you be the judge. Does it look like a little supermarket or does it sound like an ammo depot? It sounds like an ammo depot to me. So, yeah, you guys comment below and tell me what you think about that. I think it was an ammo depot. But North Korea launched a ballistic missile towards the Sea of Japan. Japan is now on full alert. The launch has was detected by South Korea, but as of right now of recording this video, there are no further details. So, Rocket Man grew a set after the Putin visit because he's back to launching rockets again. So, that's always good. Alright y'all, if you find this information helpful, subscribe, like the video, so the algorithm will put it out there, share the video with your friends and family, so they can have the information too, and until next time, stay safe, God bless, Patriot Independence out.